Kerry Bentivoglio was the United States Representative for Michigan's 11th Congressional District, in office from 2013 to 2015. Bentivoglio, a Republican, defeated Democratic nominee Saeed Taj, a physician, in the November 6, 2012 election. The seat was vacated by Representative Thaddeus Makota, who resigned from Congress on July 6, 2012, and was briefly held by Democrat David Curson of Belleville, Michigan. He was defeated for the Republican nomination in his bid for a second term by attorney David Trott. He launched a write-in campaign for the November 2014 general election but lost again to Trott. Bentavoglio worked as a designer in the automotive industry for 20 years, followed by teaching for 15 years in schools and institutions. He is an Army veteran who served in the Vietnam War, the Gulf War, and the Iraq War. Early Life and Education Bentavoglio was born in Detroit, Michigan in 1951. Bentavoglio was raised in the Detroit area with four brothers. His father, a factory worker, served in World War II, while his grandfather served in World War I. He attended Oakland Community College from 1971 to 1983 where he earned an associate degree in liberal arts. He received his Bachelor of Arts in Social Science from St. Mary's College in Michigan in 1999. He transferred to Michigan State University in East Lansing to attend further courses in 1989 and met his future wife, Karen. Later, he earned a master's degree in education from Mary Grove College in 2001. Military Service Ben Tavoglio enlisted in the United States Army in November 1968 and served in Vietnam from 1970 to 1971 as an infantry rifleman. After a break in service, he later joined the Army National Guard in Michigan as a reservist and served for more than 20 years. Ben Tavoglio was trained as an MLRS, HIMARS crew member. He served on the home front during Operation Desert Storm and was deployed to Iraq in 2007 with an artillery unit as a senior human resources sergeant performing combat convoy missions. He retired as a sergeant first class after a neck injury in 2008. Ben Tavoglio's awards include the Meritorious Service Medal, Army Commendation Medal, Army Achievement Medal, and the Combat Infantryman Badge. Civilian career. Ben Tavoglio has worked as an auto worker, reindeer rancher, automotive designer, teacher, commercial home builder, Santa Claus for hire, and amateur actor before running for political office. He taught in private schools, public schools, and adult education institutions. Ben Tavoglio said he took up acting in movies to get rid of his stage fright in front of cameras. In 2010, he acted in the low-budget movie Lucy's Law in the role of a TV news reporter. In 2011, he appeared in another low-budget political satire, The President Goes to Heaven. Political career. 2010 State Senate election In 2010, Ben Tavoglio ran for the Michigan Senate for the 15th district but was defeated by Mike Kowal in the primary. During the election, Ben Tavoglio acknowledged that he had filed for bankruptcy in 1992 after homes he had built as a commercial builder did not sell, and Ben Tavoglio faced judgments from creditors' collection suits in the Michigan counties of Oakland and Livingston. Ben Tavoglio also acknowledged having been involved in a lawsuit involving one of the creditors to whom he had owed money at that time. Ben Tavoglio had started a new business doing Santa Claus appearances and had obtained an appearance at the White House during the presidency of George H. W. Bush. Ben Tavoglio called a news conference in Milford, whereupon the creditor complained and newspapers reported on the bankruptcy story. Ben Tavoglio sued the vendor and several newspapers for slander and libel. 2012 Congressional Elections In 2011, Ben Tavoglio announced his candidacy for Michigan's 11th Congressional District seat in the U.S. 
House of Representatives and was considered a long shot to defeat incumbent Thaddeus Makota for the Republican nomination. However, Bentivoglio's campaign was aided by reports that Makota failed to qualify for the primary after failing to turn in the required minimum number of signatures to be on the ballot. McCotter's campaign released a statement on May 25, 2012 conceding that there were not enough valid signatures turned in with his ballot petition. Although McCotter initially announced he would mount a writing campaign for the seat, he opted to retire at the end of his term. However, McCotter unexpectedly resigned on July 6, 2012 causing a scramble for the vacant nomination. Ben Tavolia faced former state senator Nancy Cassis, a writing candidate, for the district's Republican primary. Cassis and her supporters drew attention to the 2011 film The President Goes to Heaven in which Ben Tavolio had a prominent role as a doctor tending to a fictional president resembling George W. Bush. In the movie, a fictional president instigates the September 11, 2001 attacks in a plot to justify the invasion of Iraq, but cannot get to heaven until he converts to Islam. Ben Tavolio pointed out the film was a work of fiction. On August 7, 2012, Ben Tavolio defeated Cassis and won the district's Republican nomination, pitting him against Democratic nominee Saeed Taj, a physician, in the November 6, 2012 election. In August 2012, news reports stated that Ben Tavolio had been reprimanded for threatening students at Fowlerville High School. Ben Tavolio said the allegations were false and politically motivated. On November 1, 2012, five days before the general election, Philip Ben Tavolio of Little Rock, Arkansas, the estranged brother of Ben Tavolio, told the Michigan Information and Research Service that his brother owed him $20,000 for houses they built together in Arkansas 20 years earlier. Philip also accused his brother of being mentally imbalanced and dishonest. Ben Tavolio responded by telling MIRS that his brother called for the first time in 20 years and threatened to go to the press if Ben Tavolio didn't pay him $20,000. He said he became worried about Philip's mental state and reported him to the Little Rock Police Department, which confirmed that officers visited and checked on Philip's condition. On November 6, 2012, Bentavoglio lost the special election for the remaining months of Makota's term in 112th Congress to David Curson, but won the general election and became representative-elect for the 11th Congressional District. 2014 Congressional election Ben Tavolio faced an August 5, 2014 Republican primary challenge for the Michigan's 11th Congressional District seat from lawyer David Trott who announced his bid on September 4, 2013. He was defeated by Trott in the primary, making him the third incumbent defeated in a Republican primary in 2014. He will serve out the rest of his term. However, Congressman Ben Tavolio mounted what The Hill described as a lackluster writing campaign for the November 2014 election to continue serving in his seat. Ben Tavolio finished the general election behind Trot, Democratic challenger Bobby McKenzie, and Libertarian candidate John Tarter, and will relinquish his seat in January. A May 20-22 poll of likely Republican primary voters run by Target Insight and commissioned by MIRS showed Wahida, Ben Tavolio leading Trot 33% to 21%. The poll also shows a significant unfavorability rating for Trot among the Republicans surveyed. A July 12-13 poll commissioned by the Detroit Free Press and WXYZ TV indicated that Ben Tavolio's support had dropped considerably in the face of a strong media barrage from the Trot campaign. Trot led in the poll of likely Republican primary voters 53% to 31% with 16% undecided. In the Republican primary, Trot defeated Ben Tavolio by 42,008 votes to 21,254. After his defeat, Ben Tavolio announced that he was running a writing campaign. 
He alleged that after Trot won the primary, the Trot campaign kept up the attacks, but they expanded it beyond me. After they won the race, they continued to beat up me, my family members, as well as my staff. I put them on notice. If they didn't stop I'm probably going to end up doing a writing campaign. And they didn't stop. The truck campaign has denied this, saying that nothing like that occurred. Bentivoglio does not think he will win, or even get enough votes to keep Trot from getting elected. All I'm concerned about is getting people who want to voice through a protest vote to do a protest vote. Political positions Bentivoglio describes himself as a conservative with libertarian ideals on most issues and has been endorsed by the Tea Party Express. He strongly supports the right to bear arms. He describes freedom of speech as vital to our society, according to his campaign website. He opposes any measures to regulate speech on the Internet, or to license and regulate the behavior of Internet service providers, according to Electful.com. Bentivoglio is pro-life. Bentivoglio's campaign website says that he opposes federal subsidies for abortion providers, foreign aid that supports abortion in other nations, and requirements that religious institutions provide coverage for abortion as part of federally mandated health plans. Bentivoglio's website also notes that he is endorsed by the pro-life group Right to Life Michigan. He seeks to reduce regulation and bureaucracy, cut taxes, cut government spending, and discontinue government investment in some industries. In response to a request from a concerned citizen in his district, Bentivoglio promised to hold a hearing concerning the chemtrails conspiracy theory. In a video published on August 23, 2013, from a town hall meeting in his district, Congressman Bentivoglio said it would be a dream come true to submit a bill with articles of impeachment for President Barack Obama. Bentivoglio admitted to not having any outright evidence and instead requesting the advice of lawyers with PhDs in history to tell me how I can impeach the President of the United States during the United States federal government shutdown of 2013. Bentivoglio was one of the 144 House Republicans who voted against legislation to end the government shutdown. In explaining his vote, he said that the new health care mandate should be delayed for individuals as it was for businesses. U.S. House of Representatives Bentivoglio's two-year term began on January 3, 2013. Legislation as a representative Bentivoglio sponsored 13 bills, including H.R. 746, a bill to grant businesses a six-month grace period before being subject to any government sanction or penalty, introduced February 15, 2013. H.R. 939, a bill to prohibit the transfer of certain military equipment to the Egyptian government unless the Egyptian government combats terrorist groups, promotes religious and political freedoms, enforces access along the Sinai Peninsula, and is fully implementing the Egypt-Israel Peace Treaty. Introduced March 4, 2013, H.R. 1831, a bill to require bills and resolutions to contain a provision citing congressional authority, and to bar any vote from occurring if the full text of the bill or resolution has not been released publicly for at least a week. Introduced May 6, 2013, H.R. 3993, a bill to reduce the pay of members of Congress by 15% during any fiscal year in which the federal government has a budget deficit. Introduced February 5, 2014, H.R. 5121, a bill to prohibit U.S. armed forces from detaining a U.S. citizen or lawful resident alien of the United States who was captured, detained, or arrested in the United States, and to prohibit an authorization for the detention without charge or trial of a citizen or lawful permanent resident of the United States apprehended in the United States. Introduced July 16, 2014.
H.R. 5479, a bill to require the public release of any method used to determine credit scores, introduced September 16, 2014. H.R. 5779, a bill to allow for a $10,000 deduction in gross income each taxable year for certain expenses relating to attending a private school, introduced December 2, 2014. Committee Assignments Committee on Oversight and Government Reform Subcommittee on National Security Subcommittee on Economic Growth, Job Creation and Regulatory Affairs Committee on Small Business Subcommittee on Contracting and Workforce Subcommittee on Investigations, Oversight and Regulations Personal Life Ben Tavolio's wife Karen is a registered nurse. They have resided in Milford. Michigan since 1982 and live on a small farm raising reindeer trained to pull Santa's sleigh in various parades and special holiday events within Michigan. They also maintain a small flock of chickens, a 25 hive apiary of honeybees, and a 115 vine vineyard. Ben Tavolio is an avid sportsman and base fisherman. He is a novice golfer and enjoys clay pigeon shooting. Filmography